So I found a bug in the um, uh, GRA-10 or just the, the A-10 uh, uh, ATF-20B function generator. We've got the waveform amplitude here. It's currently 500 millivolts peak to peak. And uh, if I want to set an amplitude, I can just type it in as you would expect, 400, and hit, in this case, millivolts peak to peak, and it does that as normal. However, if I type in an amplitude like 500, and instead of hitting millivolts peak to peak, let's say I accidentally hit this blank key here. If I do that, then it doesn't work. I cannot enter um, volts, millivolts peak to peak. It's, uh, it's really strange. Um, and if you enter something else, you can fix it, but uh, hitting this button renders millivolts peak to peak useless until you set a different, uh, a different range uh, even using the dial doesn't work. So, uh, interesting bug. Kind of disappointing, but uh, at least there's a workaround. Just got to remember not to hit that button. So I've just noticed something quite peculiar about the uh, the function gen. So uh, I've just got it plugged straight into the scope via a BNC, and uh, I've got a 1 volt peak-to-peak -peak signal with no offset here. And... Uh, it's on the scope, uh, it's not triggered, it doesn't really need to be. Uh, two volts per division, and you can see it's uh, measuring as one volt peak to peak, and uh, our Vmin and Vmax show that it is indeed centered around zero. So everything looks pretty good so far. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a negative offset on that. I'm going to add a negative uh, five volts DC like I was doing with the tube. And you can see here um, that our uh, our minimum voltage is not five point minus five point five volts DC. It's only minus one volt DC. That that doesn't make any sense. Now watch this. If I uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to increase the amplitude of the signal here uh, in hundreds of millivolts, and watch what happens on the display. So we have 1.1 volts, 1.2 volts, 1.3 volts, 1.4 volts, 1.5 volts, 1.6 volts. What? 1.5 volts, we don't have the correct DC offset, but at 1.6 volts you hear a relay click, and then the DC offset becomes correct. So below an amplitude of 1.5 volts peak to peak the dc offset doesn't doesn't measure the correct units see if i'm if i edit the offset now while it's not correct it does change the offset the offset does work but that's a 10 volt dc offset now that's not 10 volts that's 1 volt it's like the units are wrong. And if I set something in the millivolts, if I set 500 millivolt DC offset, that's pretty much unmeasurable. So, what the hell is going on here? I, 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 cannot, I cannot set um, the DC offsets that I want. Um, with uh, obviously the the attenuator set the way that I want, which is, in my opinion, really stupid. It works perfectly fine with anything greater than 1.6 volt peak to peak as the uh, as the amplitude, and uh, the units don't appear to matter. So if I set the amplitude to you know 500 millivolts peak to peak. Um, no, it, it's obviously it, it's obviously the attenuator has got something really strange going on, and uh, yeah, so just I guess be aware that uh, I I don't know if this is a firmware issue or if this is actually designed. Um, there's some sort of a design limitation, but uh, yeah, that attenuator uh, causes an issue with the uh, the offset. So, yeah.
be aware of that. I guess uh, I'm glad that I discovered that um, on this and uh, not while I was testing something uh, of importance because uh, quickly switching between uh, high voltages like that, uh, obviously the high voltage uh, you know, minus 10 volts or so isn't going to damage this, but uh, it could have damaged some semiconductors had I been testing something else. So uh, yeah, uh, that's uh, maybe it is documented in the manual, but it's not, not in English, so I, I don't know.